Uh, do you guys want to um, have a seat over there on the couch and snuggle up under a blanket, put your slippers on, put the fire on, pour yourself a cup of hot tea and, and settle into Gus Malzahn hot seat season? We all know how this story ends. Gus Malzahn will find a way. <laughs> he, ain't, he, ain't, he ain't leaving us. You can't quit right. us. Okay, let's see. What is the game that Bama. saved Gus Malzahn? No, I just... Yeah. Texas A&M. Texas A&M is way... Listen, if he beats... All right, so they finished the season with Tennessee at home, Bama on the road, and Texas A&M at home. I do not believe, based on what we saw from Alabama today, that Alabama would lose that game. I don't think that this Auburn team. No, 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 no. no. How many times can we say that about the years no. Auburn beat Alabama? I, I, I don't think we. I don't. I. I don't. I can't fathom this Auburn team beating Alabama. And so I think Tennessee and Texas A and M might be the games that look, you know, like it's this, you know, saving your job type moment. You go two and one in that stretch of Tennessee, Alabama, Texas A and M. Vibes are much better and potentially keep your job situation. But like, let's, let's look at, you know, let's go through the history book of the winds of change with Gus Melzahn on the planes, the games that have saved Gus's job. Obviously there's been the years where he's beaten Alabama. There was, you know, the, the prayer at Jordan Hare when they beat Georgia. And then there was like the, you know, last coach standing, you know, gets fired or whatever game against LSU yes, plus miles. miles a few years ago. And they won that, but that's LSU that's Georgia and that's Alabama. If we're to a situation where having to beat Tennessee or Texas A&M is the game that saves Gus's job, Gus is already fired. But te- but Texas A&M could be a top ten team. It's it's like that. It's North like that. Carolina is a top five team. Who cares? Well, it's like the Jimbo Fisher signature win against Florida. I I would look. I I'd, I I'd like to look at it from the opposite direction. What what record would Does Gus Liberty Malzahn have to have? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, what what record would Gus Malzahn have to have for you to be confident this would be his that he he would be fired? Because I don't I don't have like I, at Auburn seven and three. I mean, like, no, but he, that's happened before and he hadn't gotten fired. But I'm saying I, though, I feel like that's if think, I, you really I, think we're at that we're at that point, dude. I I think they've been at that point for three years. Honestly, I just it's. I mean, let's see. But that's they're my two point. Is like they, they're always unhappy with them, but he's always comes. He always comes back. And Sub so, 500 five, or 500. So five and five, you think would be enough? Yeah. So if Auburn loses next week against Mississippi and then they get LSU and then they get Mississippi State before they finish with their three games, the two big job saving games against Tennessee and A&M with the Iron Bowl mixed in between. Both at home, and judging by the way things are going, Alabama might just let full stadiums by that point. So, hey, you know. I just I, – I, I can't sit here and say that Tennessee and A&M are job savers. They, I just can't see that being the case. I think, I think they'll be – I think Auburn will be four and four um, minus Tennessee and A&M games. So, if they go 0 oh and 2, those games, I think they could finish 4 and 6. If they go 2 and 0, oh, those games, I think they could finish 6 and 4. That's kind of where I see them. But if you're 6 and 4 and you, your best win is Tennessee or AM, I, I mean, I don't know. The- I just, I just think, I think Gus Malzahn's got a little more cockroach in him than you think. I think <laughs> he's got, he's got a little survivor in him. I mean, he survived this long. He, he ain't go, he's not just going down, just, you know, I mean, I think. I think Gus Malzahn's got some, some, some survivor in him.